Now we are in Ableton Live and we're gonna prep the mix. The first thing we need to do is to get our vocal tracks from our mobile devices to Ableton Live. There are a lot of different applications you can use to do this, and in my case, after I saved slash exported the song in Voloco, just the vocal, I uploaded it on my mobile device to Google Drive. I then went to Google Drive on my computer, downloaded it, and now I'm going to drop it in. So after we drag the files into Ableton Live, we're going to align them so they line up with the instrumental. Now for the verses, these are off, so I'm going to align them. It's a lot easier to do this by turning off the grid in Ableton. You see when we do this, it snaps to these different uh, grid resolution positions. But when I turn off the grid, I can slide them freely. On my Mac, all I do is hit Command 4. Now I just made sure that warp mode was turned off on my audio files. Um, what I just realized when I was doing that is that the audio file had accidentally warped, so it actually shortened based on the tempo of the project. So turn off warping, make sure warping is off. Okay, now I, this other track is, um, uh, they're my background vocals. So some of these background vocals happen in the background of the chorus, and some of these vocals happen in the background of my verse. I'm going to separate these and put them on different tracks in Ableton Live so that I can process them differently. Slam Academy is the best place to learn how to create your own sound with Ableton Live 11. With more certified trainers than anywhere else and the lowest monthly subscription price ever, there's never been a better time to master the art of making music. Click this ad to visit our YouTube channel and get started today.